in the earlier epochs of human societies one can speculate that women may have been venerated as the embodiment of life's creative force in the realm of mythologies and rituals the reproductive prowess of women found acknowledgment however the advent of agricultural societies introduced a shift where the position of women became less free and egalitarian compared to their counterparts in hunting societies this transition was possibly accentuated by the introduction of a revolutionary tool the ox-drawn plough this new implement demanding significant physical strength was predominantly wielded by men women in contrast shouldered a substantial burden of responsibilities encompassing a vast array of tasks beyond ploughing despite their contributions they found themselves consigned to drudgery and held little status within their societies this inequality might have been further exasperated by the reality that men were frequently engaged in raiding or guarding against potential raids with the introduction of agriculture and husbandry religion and warfare emerged as enduring pillars of human experience agriculture provided sustenance and a modest surplus while warfare aimed to confiscate and consume these resources although specifics are veiled by the mists of time we do possess insights into the early societies with recorded histories revealing their patriarchal nature religions within these societies mirrored the prevailing social structures and were presided over by priests magic was believed to play a pivotal role in promoting crop growth cattle prosperity fertility healing and safeguarding the community from peril this collective benefit resulted in the community providing support for these specialized individuals the emergence of these magicians and priests mark the emergence of the first economic class not directly involved in food production this transition in societal dynamics ushered in two key developments firstly the economy demonstrated its capacity to generate a surplus secondly complexity burgeoned with the shift from self-sufficiency leading to specialization trade and the rise of markets this economic evolution paved the way for larger settlements that extended beyond direct ties to agriculture cities and towns where diverse professions began to thrive the ensuing economic stratification subsequently gave rise to social differentiation fragmenting society into distinct classes the trajectory led to the emergence of the rich nobles and free individuals juxtaposed against the backdrop of poor dependents and indentured persons the private elite who held the lion's share of the land assumed the mantle of lords over their counterparts however this newfound power did not translate into harmonious coexistence human nature marred by ambitions of dominance and avarice drove these lords into internal conflicts battling each other for dominance and spoils this power struggle among the elite precipitated the assembly of men under the authority of the strongest a dynamic we might liken to early political affiliations or coalitions eventually these alliances solidified into systems where individuals held land of others offering payment and service in exchange this system bore striking resemblance to the feudal structure of the middle ages the threads of this socio-economic evolution can be traced across diverse regions india china the near east and europe under similar historical circumstances however the most pronounced and early manifestation of this evolution was witnessed in the fertile crescent this narrow swath of land stretching from mesopotamia and syria in the east to egypt in the west was teeming with dense populations here the struggle for land was most intense fostering heightened organization for production and defense this backdrop laid the foundation for the societal transformation that echoed through time 
as we delve further into our exploration we shall cast our gaze upon mesopotamians a civilization that would emerge as a captivating testament to the intricate interplay between human ingenuity and the fertile grounds upon which they trod